YouTube is definitely the best resource to studying anything for free. In fact, it helped me throughout my life. For example, I learned statistics and how to code on YouTube, which helped me to get a job in data science. And then I learned how to film and edit a video on YouTube as well, which helped me quit that job to become a full-time creator. I usually like to take notes while watching YouTube videos when I want to learn something new because I think writing or taking notes makes it easier to memorize what you just learned. Back then, I was just using pen and paper to study from YouTube, but now there are lots of incredible studying tools such as Roam and Remnoid, which can make studying much more efficient. Currently, I am using Roam Research for studying and honestly, it is a kind of tool that I wish existed when I was studying things like data science and video editing because I think that would have made the process much easier. So in this video, I want to show you my favorite studying setup with Roam and YouTube using Space Repetition System. Okay, so for my YouTube studying setup for Roam, I am going to use two plugins namely Roam Space Repetition and Roam Enhanced YouTube Player, which are such brilliant plugins. I already made a video about Roam Space Repetition and how to install it before, so please watch it if you're interested. In terms of Enhanced YouTube Player, you just have to go to this website by the developers and copy the code. Then in your Roam graph, open the Roam slash JS page and make a code block. Then paste the code. Make sure to do the same for the CSS, copy the code and paste it in your Roam slash CSS page. Now you have everything ready, what I usually do is grab a video that I want to learn from and bring it to Roam. I use my resonance calendar template so I can roughly organize books, articles and videos that I consumed. I talked about this template in detail in my previous video, so if you want to know more, please check it out. Normally, I write down the date, author, and a few tags so I can use them for queries and filtering later when I need to. So in this case, since I've been learning portrait photography and how to use Lightroom recently, I make tags like photography and Lightroom. When I'm in hurry, I watch videos twice the speed, which you can do with Alt A and Equal, but this is optional. And when I want to take a note, I create a timestamp by pressing Alt A and N, and write down what I learned. This way, I can simply press this play button to go back to where this note was taken from in case I want to know the context. I repeat this process for the whole video. When I'm done taking notes, I really like to make some space repetition questions for things that I want to remember for the long term. This is because in my experience, taking notes isn't enough for me to memorize what I learned. After all, if you forget what you learned so easily, what's the point of learning it in the first place? So I just take a look at my notes and if I see something that I want to memorize, I make a question about it, like you do in Anki. To make a spaced repetition question, you just have to add SR tag at the end of the question and write the answer in the block below. But again, more about room spaced repetition in my previous video. Right, once I'm done, I just review the questions from the left sidebar. By reviewing the questions a few times, it makes it much more likely for you to remember where you land for a long time. Alright, so that was how I study with Rome and YouTube, and I hope it was helpful. By the way, these are the, some of the photos that I took recently. I'm still a complete beginner in terms of portrait photography, but I think they're decent. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and uh, please let me know what you think in the comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye!